right, so the first horse color we are gonna learn about today is the color black. So for a horse to be black, it must be completely black except for white markings. Do not be fooled though, some black horses will fade in the summertime and will appear brown or bay. Here is a clue to tell the difference. A black horse will have black hairs around their eyes, nose, and muzzle, where a dark chestnut or bay will have lighter ones. So an example of a black horse here at Hetra is Ellie. Ellie is a black horse at Hetra. The next color I'm going to be talking about is bay. Uh, this color comes in many different shades from reddish brown to very dark brown with black points. So points refers to the mane, the tail, the lower half of the legs, the edges of the ears, and sometimes the muzzle. These horses can sometimes almost appear black, but will have some brown shading around the muzzle, eyes, or the flank area. So some examples of bay horses at Hetra are Macy and Mac. Macy's on the left, Mac is on the right. Mac is a newer horse here at Hetra, but they both are two different examples of bay horses. The next color is gray. A horse that changes colors, yes, you are correct. Gray horses can be born any color and lighten as they age. Usually white horses are grays that are older and have faded to pure white. A gray horse will exhibit many shades of gray over its lifetime. Some terms you may hear referring to gray horses. A steel gray horse has a coat with evenly mixed white and black markings. Oh, sorry, evenly mixed white and black hairs. Rose gray, is a gray horse with a reddish or pinkish tinged color and is generally in the process of graying out. Dappled gray is a darker horse with lighter rings or circles of color called dapples. Flea bitten gray is a horse that has grayed out to white and has small red spots over its body. And no, the flecks do not actually come from fleas. Some of the two horses at Hetra that are actually gray. Ace, he is an example of flea bitten gray. So on his face, you can really see the markings of the flea bitten marks. And then on Lady, she is an example of completely grayed out. So she looks like she's white, but she's actually a gray horse that just has faded into white. The next color is Roan. So for a roan horse, this horse has white hairs spread evenly throughout its body. Don't mistake them for gray horses that are fading though. A roan is born with their color and does not change color as they grow older. A red roan has, a red roan horse is a chestnut sorrel with white hairs mixed into, a, mixed into its coat. And then a blue roan has horse has black and it's black as its base color with white hairs intermixed over its body. So at Hetra, we just have we have blue. Blue is an example of a blue roan horse. So he has black as his ba her base, and then she has white hairs intermixed throughout her body. We do not have an example of red roan at Hetra. So the next colors are chestnut or sorrel. This color has many variations. Um, this color has a reddish brown to bright red body color, but does not have black points like a bay. The mane and tail are the same shade as the body, although they can be slightly lighter or darker shade. A liver chestnut is a very dark coat color, almost brown. A blonde or light chestnut has a lighter coat and a pale mane and tail color that is called flaxen. So on the right, I have a picture of a liver chestnut horse, since we do not have a liver chestnut example at Hetra. We do, however, 
red on the way left, he is an example of sorrel. Charm in the middle and is an example of chestnut. And then king on the right is an example of a blonde um, chestnut or a light chestnut. And then his mane, that's the flaxen that I was talking about. That's the flaxen color. The next color we have is buckskin. Um, this color has or a horse whose color can be anywhere from cream to gold with black points. They can range in color from light buttermilk to a very dark sooty color. So the left is an example of a horse that is a buckskin that's more buttermilk and the right is an example of a more sooty color. And Georgie is an example of our buckskin at Hetra. He's more of a sooty um, color of buckskin. So the next color I have is Pinto. Um, it's important to note that Pinto is a horse color while a paint is a horse that is a specific breed or type of horse. Um, a Pinto is a horse of any breed and has any color with white patches on its body. Pinto horses can have lots of various patterns to their markings and are usually characterized by those patterns. So for example, Tobiano refers to a spotting pattern where the white markings cross over the horse's back. So the top picture is an example of a Tobiano. See how the white crosses over the horse's back. And then Overo has a spotting pattern where the white markings do not cross, cross over the horse's back. So in the bottom picture shows the horse, it has black on its back, but it does not have that white going over its back. So at Hetra, Galaxy is an example of a Tobiano. You can see how he has the white going over his back. And then Yazi is an example of an Overo. See how she just has the brown over her back and not the white. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to introduce the Hetra herd. Um, we will pull what I just talked about with all the colors, and then we're also going to learn about the different breeds you can find in the Hetra herd, and we'll have them all categorized, and we'll talk about them all. So the first um, breed we're going to be talking about is quarter horses. So quarter horses are also known as American quarter horses. They originate from America. They've been named quarter horse because they're the fastest horse running a quarter of a mile. The purpose for breeding is to work on ranches. They're built sturdy to carry heavy riders. They're low to the ground, making mounting and dismounting easy. They are quick as a cat, and so they work cattle with ease. And they are versatile, they have versatile competing events. So they can work as a ranch horse, they can work with dressage, they can do light harness driving, they can do western pleasure, or they can do barrel racing. So off to the right, I have an example of a quarter horse who's actually working with cattle. So we actually have a lot of quarter horses at Hetra. This is probably the biggest, we have probably the most horses that are quarter horses, probably the biggest breed we have. So the first horse is Red. So Red is 20 years old. He is Sorrel. And Red has been with Hetra since 2010. Diamond is our next quarter horse. She is 17. Her color is gray. And her fun fact, Diamond was born on Hetra property during a Hetra lesson. So our next quarter horse is Rainbow. Rainbow is 26 years old. She is Sorrel. And her fun fact, she has been a part of Hetra, a part of the Hetra herd since 2018. She's been here a very long time. <clears throat> our next quarter horse is Macy. Macy is 24 years old. She is Bay. And Macy has had three babies before her time at Hetra. <clears throat> Our 
Our next quarter horse is Ivy. Ivy is 17 years old. She is Sorrel, and her registered name is A Forgotten Invitation. And she is currently pregnant and due of May 2020, so just in a couple months. Our next quarter horse is Georgie. Georgie is 16 years old. He is buckskin. Uh, his full name is George's Joy. Our next quarter horse is Kobe. He is 12 years old. He is a bay. And his fun fact, Kobe was a trail riding horse before he came to Hetra. He had a nice little easy job. The next quarter horse is Jewel. Jewel is 20 years old. She is a bay. And Jewel had her last baby in 2019 before retiring as a broodmare to join Hetra full time. Mac is the next quarter horse. He is nine years old. His color is bay. And his fun fact, Mac favorite thing to do when he is outside with his friends is roll around in the mud. The next quarter horse I have is Ace. He was here a while ago and then he left for a bit and now he's back. He is 13 years old. He is gray. And Ace's registered name is Honky Tonk P. And our last quarter horse, quarter horse is Rita. Rita is 15 years old. She is Bay, and Rita's registered name is Sparkles on a Fudge. Kind of a funny name. All right, so the next breed I'll be discussing that's a part of the Hetero herd is Warm Bloods. So Warm Bloods are also known as middleweight horses. They originated from Germany. They're a mix of breeds such as thoroughbreds, Ponavarians, and often draft breeds. One of the only breeds that is, this are warm bloods are the only one of the only breeds that encourages um, influences from other breeds and is still evolving today. Some types of warm bloods include American, Dutch, and Canadian. Sometimes um, warm bloods are referred as sport horses as their primary jobs include dressage and various jumping disciplines. So Galaxy, Alley, and Windsor all came to Hetra after careers as jumpers. So Galaxy is our first warm blood. He is 22 years old. He is a buckskin pinto. And his fun fact, Galaxy is Hetra's gentle giant. Allie is our next warm blood. She is 20 years old. She is Sorrel, and Allie was a competitive jumper during her past career. And she is an American warm blood, which I'm not sure which exact warm blood galaxy and the next horse are, but we know that Allie, Allie is an American warm blood. And then Windsor, he is very new to the Hetra herd. He just came a couple weeks ago. Um, so he is 16 years old. He is a bay, and he is now the tallest Hetra horse we have. He's actually taller than Galaxy. So the next uh, breed I will be discussing is Halflingers. Halflingers are also known as Evangelies. Um, they originated from Austria and Northern Italy. Orig they were originally developed to work as a mountain pack horse. Today, halflingers are still used for draft and pack work, but also used for light harness and combined driving, trekking, western style shows, endurance, dressage, vaulting, therapeutic riding, and show jumping. And then the next breed I will be discussing is Belgian Draft Horse. So Belgian Draft Horses, also known as Belgians or Belgian Heavy Draft, 
They originated in the Flanders region of Europe. American breeders have bred them to be a bit shorter, often having a wide, heavy, sh uh, ha often having wide, short backs and a characteristic double muscling over their croup, making them one of the strongest breeds despite their slightly smaller stature. They are best known for their extreme strength. Today, they are used in a variety of work, including plowing, logging, pulling sleighs, and carriage driving. They're gaining popularity in riding disciplines ranging from leisure riding to jumping as well. So the horses that um, fall under the Belgian draft or um, halflinger category, our first horse is King. King is 10 years old. He is a chestnut. He is a Belgian halflinger cross. And his fun fact, King pulled a sleigh in his past career. <clears throat> so the next horse is Leroy. Leroy is 16 years old. He is chestnut, and he is a Belgian halflinger crop. Um, Leroy's fun fact, he has two blue eyes. The next horse is Honey. Honey is 16 years old. Her color is Bay Tobiano. She is a spotted draft halflinger cross. Um, Honey used to be the lead horse in a three horse pyramid hitch before her time at Hetra. Our next horse is Waldo. Waldo is 26. He is chestnut. He is a halflinger. He does not have um, draft in him, he's just a halflinger. Um, his fun fact, Het or Waldo is the only Hetra horse involved in every one of our programs at Hetra. So the next breed is Percheron. So Percherons are also known as gentle giants. They originated in the Perche province of France's Normandy region. They originally were bred as war horses. Um, today they are used for pulling carriages sleighs and hay rides. Um, they also are used to work in logging and farm work. Riders who prefer large horses often choose this breed for their willingness to work and their adaptability. They can be ridden either Western or English, and they have a captivating presence in the dressage ring. So our pressure on at Hetra is Lady. Lady is 17 years old. She is gray. She's our Percheron. And Lady Fun Fact, Lady was used in a vaulting program before her short, for a short time before she came to Hetra. So the next breed is Paint. Um, Spanish explorers brought this breed to North America. Paints were bred for their friendliness, calm demeanor, intelligence, athleticism, and trainability. Due to their strength, speed, agility, and stamina, paints were traditionally used for transportation or work. Today, paints are used for racing, jumping in the stadium, and in cross-country events, working cattle, trail riding, and combined driving. So over on the right, I have an example of a a paint that is doing jumping and jumping event. So Ty is our first paint that we'll be talking about. He is 19 years old. He is a sorrel overo. His breed is paint and then he's his fun fact, Ty spent his past life as a show horse on the APHA circuit. So APHA is American Paint Horse Association Circuit. So our next um, horse is Yazi. Yazi is 13 years old. She is Bay Overo. And her fun fact, Yazi means little one in Navajo.
So our next breed we'll be talking about is pony. Um, ponies are the smallest of the horse breeds. They evolved in environments where landscape was rugged and harsh with inferior nutrition resulting in a smaller horse. They are notable for having a superior intelligence, mostly mannered with a good temperament, but some can tend to be stubborn. They are used as work animals with driving and pulling carts, hauling loads such as coal from mines, and used for children to ride. They do well in many disciplines, including driving, hunters on the flat and over fences, western driving classes pleasure riding, dressage, and equitation. So the pony at Hetra is Scout. Scout is 17. He is a Bay Tobiano. He's a Pinto pony. And his fun fact, Scout is the shortest riding horse in the Hetra program. All right, our next breed is the miniature horse. So miniature horses are also known as minis. They originated in Europe. They're, they were first bred to work in mines due to their small size. Today, minis are used for, they are kept as pets. They are too small for riding. Owners drive their minis hitched to carts and sleighs. Owners compete with their minis in driving, lead line, and obstacle running and jumping events. So on the right, you can see that I have a picture of two minis pulling a sleigh. So minis are also frequently used as therapy animals. So they're used as guide animals. They assist people with vision impairments, assist people with hearing impairments, and emotional support animals due to their gentle and affectionate nature. So you can see that I have a picture of a mini that's actually being used as a therapy animal. So our first mini at the barn is Blue. Blue is 18 years old. She is a Blue Roan Tobiano. She's a miniature horse. Uh, Blue has had babies before her time at Hetra. Stormy is our other mini at the barn. She is 10 years old. She is a Sorrel Tobiano. And her fun fact, Stormy is the smallest Hetra horse. So the next breed I have is Pasifino. Pasifinos are adorned with the title smoothest riding horse in the world. They're imported into the U.S. from Puerto Rico after World War II and later from Colombia. They were bred for their good physical balance. Pasifinos are quick, sure-footed, and very athletic. They're very kind and gentle in temperament, very loyal and loving to their owners. They're used in many disciplines, including showing, and they're extremely popular for trail riding. The Pasfino we have at the barn is Ellie. Ellie is 22 years old. She is black. And her fun fact, Ellie is the only Pasifino Hetra has ever had in the Hetra program. So the next breed is Tennessee Walker. Um, the Tennessee Walker breed was founded in the middle of Tennessee. Um, they originally were bred as a utility horse. They were best suited for a recreational mount due to its smooth, easy ride and its gentle disposition. Their calm, docile temperament combined with naturally smooth and easy gait ensure the popularity of the Tennessee walking horse as the world's greatest show, trail, and pleasure horse. So the, um, the Tennessee Walker and the Hetra Barn is Charm. Um, Charm is 25 years old. He is a chestnut. He was nicknamed, he's nicknamed Halter Houdini because he can take his own halter off when he is tied up in his stall. The next breed that I have today is Standard Bread. 
standard breads were developed in New England in the 1800s. Initially, they were developed for their speed and stamina in harness racing. You can find standard breads in sporting in sports, including speed games, endurance riding, jumping, competitive competitive carriage, and pleasure driving. And on the side, I have an example of um, the harness racing. So the standard bread we have at Hetra is Smokey. Smokey is 25 years old. He is a bay. His fun fact, Smokey's past career was with Omaha Police Department Mounted Patrol. So he actually used to work for the Omaha Police Department before he came to Hetra. Our last breed for today is Rocky Mountain Horse. The Rocky Mountain Horse was found in the rough Appalachian Mountains of southeastern USA. It's easy ambling, ambling for me. It is a horse for all activities. It can pull the plow in the small fields. It can work cattle. It can be ridden bareback by children. Being a comfortable riding horse with its calm disposition and four-beat gait, it's suitable for recreational riding, even for older people or people with disabilities. It can be ridden to town comfortably or performed well hitched to a buggy. Our Rocky Mountain horse at Hetra is uh, Monty. Monty is 21 years old. He is a silver bay. And Monty is the only Rocky Mountain horse at Hetra that Hetra has ever had. So thank you everyone for joining me as I discuss the Hetra herd colors and breeds. Don't forget to like and comment below. Tell us what you thought of the video and let us know what other topics you would like to learn about. Thanks everyone.